now we are going to start next topic that will be your subnetting have you heard about subnetting see first of all i'll give you one example okay after that i'll start subnetting okay so So, in one network, if I talk about in class A or class C, suppose in class C, how many PC we can connect? 254, right? Okay, in one network, we can connect 254 PC. And if I talk about like in class B, we can connect like 65,000, right? Yes or no? Suppose I have to create total four local networks, okay? Clear? Yeah. I have to create total four local networks and the requirement was like in one network like these are the four local networks okay in first network first lane I have to suppose I have 50 pieces okay in second network I have suppose some 40 pieces in third network I have some suppose 30 pieces and fourth one I have suppose some 60 pieces okay clear yeah so now if i don't have like any uh, subnetting concept and all okay uh, what i will do here i'll use class c network right because if i use class b so there will be there will be you can say huge wastage of ip addresses yes or no okay if we use here class b one networks one network is what so we'll use what private right okay so if i use one network here one network for 50 pc okay this network and next network is what this one right this one i'll use for what for 40 pc next one is what this network right this is for 30 similar for 60 right okay for 50 pc i'm using class b that means how many wastes is there something 65500 ips right wastage is there yes or no okay because we are only connecting 50 pc and here we are having in one network we are having what 65534 ips correct here we are having 65k 500 here also we are having 65.5k here also we are having 65.5k yes or no these are ip address we are having in each and every network so that's why we use here instead of this one class B, what we will use? We will use class C. Okay. So instead of using this class B, I will use here class C. Okay. And in class C, like first uh, I'll use here, here also we'll use what? Private, right? Like this one. Okay. So first I'll use here like 192.168.0.0 Here I'll use like 192.168.1.0 Here I'll use like 192.168.2.0 So now here also like if I'm using class C also So in this network I'm almost like in one network we have how many pieces? 254 right? Okay so in each and every network if I talk because this is our lowest one right? In class C Okay so here we'll, we'll be having almost like 200 wastes Correct. Here also like 210. Yes or no. Here also around 220 and here also around 190. Correct. Vestages are there, right? Okay. So at the end, if we say, if we calculate like something around 850 total vestiges, approximate equal to, right? Okay. 800 plus vestiges are there, right? To connect these local networks okay so to reduce this wastage only okay we use what subnetting okay clear and how it will reduce the wastage of the ip address and all okay that we will cover okay and you have to just simply follow the rules okay i'll give you only three rules okay with the help of those two three rules you can easily understand this concept subnetting and all and you will easily calculate each and everything 
okay so only you need to follow the two three rules are there three rules are there okay clear and there is nothing in subnetting okay like people are uh, scared about like uh, subnetting and all okay i don't know why but uh, there is nothing in subnetting only thing is you should know about little bit about math mathematics okay math okay maths we can say and here you should have like you should know how to do addition how to do multiplication and all okay these things clear yeah so subnetting is what we can say it is that is the advantage we can say okay so what it does actually subnetting so it divide your network into sub networks okay so if suppose uh, like in class c okay i have how many pc we can connect in one network we can connect to 54 right okay with the help of subnetting the same network we can divide into four parts okay in each and every network will connect what how many pc will get will get 62 62 like that okay will divide this network in one network you have 254 pc right okay we will, we will divide this network suppose this is the network 0.0 okay slash 24 right okay we will divide this network into four parts and in each and every part will will having host is what 62 okay clear so the basic funda is what our behind subnetting is to divide your large network into smaller sub networks so it is used to divide large complex networks into smaller sub networks okay clear with the help of subnetting you divide your large network one network into smaller sub networks okay and the process of dividing this uh, large network into smaller sub networks that is only called as subnetting clear and what is the advantage of this one to dividing your large network into smaller sub network the advantage is to reduce the wastage of ip addresses and how you will reduce the ip addresses that i'll tell you okay so even one example i just given right okay like we have we have to create four network right we have uh, a requirement okay in each and every network like here we have how many pc 50 60 30 40 right okay so what i'll do like this is one of the network okay by default this one right slash 24 so in this one we can connect how many pc 254 right hello yeah so what i'll do i'll divide this into four parts this network i'll divide into four parts okay and in each and every network so now this that will not be your same network okay that will not be your one network so these these are what smaller sub networks means these are different network okay so in each and every network i'll connect here how many pcs i'll get 62 pcs 62 ips i'll get okay so that i can connect these number of devices in one network okay so now i'll use here this one right okay so here wastage is what if suppose i'm using this one here so here wastage is only 12 here wastage if i'm using a second one so here wastage is what 2 if i am using this one here wastage is what 32 here wastage is what only 22 total is what tell me something 60 70 right 60 65 yes or no earlier wastage was what like 800 plus right hello it got reduced from 800 to 60 to 65 only yes or no clear so this is the advantage of having subnetting okay like if you ask me about subnetting and all okay so 
like what are the number of devices we can connect in the subnet okay there are some questions okay how the interviewers will ask okay they'll ask you like there is one network like 192.168.0.10 slash 28 how many pieces we can connect in this one what is the subnet mask of this one okay in interviews like this they will ask you okay and if you are going to ask me i can simply tell you okay i don't need to even calculate by seeing this prefix length right i told you right about this slash value okay this is called as what prefix value or prefix length you can say this is called as prefix length okay prefix value or prefix length both are same clear yeah so by seeing this value only you should like able to calculate each and everything okay like what is the total number of host what is the total number of sub networks what is the subnet mask for this okay for this one slash 28 so it it should be like uh, back end in your mind uh, there there should be one calculation okay so that you will come to know in next one or two days okay easily only thing is you need to practice little bit okay see you have to do practice okay otherwise if you say like by seeing the lecture okay you will understand okay but if you don't practice okay you won't be able to like master in subnetting okay clear as much as you practice okay so you will be master in subnetting clear yeah <clears throat> so this is about basic information about subnetting like what is subnetting and what is the advantage of subnetting right and why we use subnetting clear right any doubt till now all of you okay so now if i talk about subnetting there are two types of subnetting okay sorry first one is your FLSM full form is full length subnet mask okay second one is your VLSM variable length subnet mask clear so these are the two types of subnetting okay FLSM and VLSM okay so if I talk about a difference little bit in this FLSM and VLSM okay so difference is here full length subnet mask okay that means in FLSM the subnet mask for each and every subnetwork is going to be same okay but here in this in VLSM okay the subnet mask for each and every subnetwork will be different okay clear it vary okay so that you will come to know okay I uh, and even also like uh, after the doing both okay after first we are going to cover FLSM after this immediately we are going to cover VLSM okay after that we will you will be able to compare both the things right okay clear then it will be easy for you right comparison and all okay but at the first time I'll mention here only subnet masks would be same for each sub networks for each and every sub networks subnet mask is going to be same only in where in FLSM okay and if I talk about in VLSM variable length subnet mask so we can say subnet mask varies for each sub network okay here your subnet mask will vary okay clear so so for some sub network it will be like suppose 255 255 255 
255.255.255.0 but for some network it will be like 255.255.255.0 like this so now first of all okay we'll start with FLSM okay full form is what okay so in this one first of all like i'll explain you this subnetting via uh, there is like we can say there are total four rules okay main rule are three only okay only three rules are main rule but uh, there are like i'll tell you total four okay so you have to follow these rules only okay so once you follow the rules like rule number one rule number two rule number three rule number four means your subnetting is done okay only need to follow the rules so first of all i'm going to take one example okay so suppose i have two networks or suppose i'll take the same example only right the one which i have taken earlier right okay so suppose i have four networks and how many pieces like 30 40 50 60 right yes or no okay and i have one suppose one class c network 0 0.0, .0 slash 24 so if it is by default so by default this is what class c right 192 yes or no this is class c ip address right why because it is starting from 192 okay and in class c by default how many because slash 24 means what I told you about it. this is what this is your this is your prefix length and what does this meaning this means that this defines the number of number of network bits right how many network bits, bits are there right so how many bits 24 first 24 bit is your what network id bits right yeah so if it is by default 24 in because this is the in class c subnet mask is what by default this is your right okay and by default how many pc we can connect so this is all about when we have this value as a prefix length okay slash 24 by default okay so when we have this one that means this is your one network okay and this is your subnet mask and we have this number of host okay this number of ip we can connect right okay clear yeah but now I want to do subnetting okay i want to divide this network into four okay so what i'll do i have to change this value okay so that is only called as what that is only your subnetting okay this changing in your prefix length okay so instead of this slash 24 what i'm going to use here i'm going to use here 192 168.0.0 slash 26 i'm going to take this one this is my class c ip right okay and this is my first example okay so by default is slash 24 in slash 24 we have one network 254 pc right we can connect yes or no correct right but if i have instead of slash 24 if i have here slash 26 in that case how many networks are there and how many pc we can connect in each and every sub network okay what would be the subnet mass okay that we have to calculate okay and this is only called as subnetting clear the changing the values in prefix length okay so whenever you do any like subnetting okay so how here how many bits you are seeing here 26 right this is your prefix length this is this defines what network id portion right yeah number of network id bits right 
okay so first of all whenever you have this number right okay because you will get this number right it will be mentioned in your example right okay what you have to do just write these bits so how the way we used to assign right in one octet how many bits we have eight right in second octet eight right in third octet also eight right how many now 24 right 25 26 And remain now 26 is what this is all about total is what 26 right that is your network id right and remaining how many remaining total is yeah total is 32 bit if 26 are your network id remaining is what host id right this is clear right as of now yeah so now just first your task is just note down your this number of bits like this in this fashion okay so once you've done this one that means your 70 percent task is done okay it's very easy right you have to just you have to mention uh, number of on bits right number of on bit and off bit so these are what on bit and these are what off bit right okay now rule number one for your subnetting rule number one so as i told you earlier so if we have here slash 24 means that is your one network right and if you are using slash 26 then how many sub networks will be there okay so that is your only rule number one rule number one is to calculate to calculate total number of sub networks okay and the formula is what formula is 2 raised to power n okay this is your formula okay and where where n equal to what n equal to number of on bits in host id portion so by default this network this is your class c right yes or no in class c how many bits we have in network id by default first three octet right and now yeah by default 24 and now here how many number of own bits in host id portion if i talk about here n number of own bits in host id portion how many see by default these are by default right so how many bits own bit this is your n value this is the one of the way you can define this value okay n number of own bit in host id portion the other thing how you can mention is in other way you can mention is number of borrowed bits from host id portion okay so this is at then this is what complete last octet is your host id right this network id is borrowing two bits right from the host id yes or no okay so you can define in any way okay so we can say own bit or borrowed bits okay from the host id so how many bits we have two right okay so that is your n value so that means first rule is what to calculate number of sub network right total number of sub network so two raised to power two right so that is your total four sub network so once we use this value here slash 26 that means this complete network this will be divided into four sub network okay and that is only my requirement right yes or no we have to use four network right clear yeah 
so as per the require requirement only i taken this value okay because i know the about subnetting and all right okay if i take this value so it will there will be four subnetwork only clear yeah so that is your first rule it's very easy right so he from here only we got the value right hello it's very easy right is there anything else i have done all right so now second rule rule number 2 now calculate calculate total number of host id in each sub network okay hello yeah so in each sub network what we have to do we have to calculate total number of host id okay so the formula is 2 raised to power h minus minus 2 okay this is the formula okay whereas h is equal to what h equal to number of off bit we can say okay in host id portion okay this is one of the thing you can decide uh, define okay the other thing you can mention is what number of remaining bits okay in host id okay yeah either you can say number of remaining bit in host id or you can say number of off bit in host id portion okay so here how many remaining bits are there total 6 right then okay then it's very easy to calculate right so 2 raised power 6 minus 2 so 2 raised power 6 that is your 64 minus 2 we'll get 62 host per network per sub network okay so how many net, sub networks are there total 4 right so per sub network you will get how many host 62 okay clear so this is also like we done from this this only right yes or no right yeah now rule number 3 calculate subnet mask and block size okay so calculate subnet mask and block size so again so i have to go again and again above right okay what i'll do i will calculate all those bits here again okay 33678 right i just mentioned it again okay so that i can easily calculate the subnet mask okay so first of all i'm going to calculate subnet mask so i'll mention here like subnet mask so subnet mask is what so all bits are one that means that is value is what 255 right here also here also now here see all these are zero okay but here one one so that means that is your 2 raised power 6 2 raised power 7 okay so this is your 2 raised power 6 64 and 
these you have to add okay 128 plus 64 that is your 192 so this is your separate mask okay it's very easy right just you should know how to calculate uh, from binary to decimal value right and that i already told you right how to calculate that yes or no if you have any doubt please tell me like if anybody is don't know how to calculate this up we are here see it is like so suppose whatever the values are there how many bits are there here total 8 right so this is the one okay so we have to start from, from right to left okay got it and it is from from 0 okay to its power 0 it always you have to start from 2 raised power 0 2 raised power 1 2 raised power 2 2 raised power 3 2 raised power 4 2 raised power 5 2 raised power 6 and 2 raised power 7 okay yeah so these are this is what 1 multiplied by 0 0 2 multiplied by 0 0 4 multiplied by 0 0 8 multiplied by 0 16 multiplied by 0 32 multiplied by 0 0 64 multiplied by 1 64 right and here 2 power 7 128 multiplied by 1 128 so this is if you add these two that is your 192 okay yeah so this is how we calculated this one and uh, yeah and one more is what here block size right so to calculate block size you always have to subtract from 256 okay by default here value will be 256 so to calculate the block size okay you have to minus okay you have to subtract the value the value which is varying in your subnet mask so which value is varying 192 right so that is your you have to subtract it from 256 so 256 minus 192 always okay so that is your 256 minus 192 that is your 64 okay clear and what is block size you know about subnet masks you know about host id network id and all right okay so what is block block size basically like uh, this you will come to know in the next rule only okay i'll tell you in the next rule but see here we have like once we use this uh, slash 26 it will divide your network into four sub network right right correct so then each and every network they will be having their network id right correct so tell uh, yeah so to calculate those sub network ids we use what we use this block size okay so we can say it is used to calculate the network ids for each sub network okay clear yeah so these are the three rules and these are the main rules okay so you have to calculate the total number of uh, sub network that that we can easily we can get right okay from this value only second rule is your uh, to calculate total number of host id the formula is to raise power s minus 2 okay that also the value is as you what remaining value right in the host id that you will get right third is your calculate subnet mask so you already having the bits right written okay you have to just convert into decimal okay so you will you will get your subnet mask and once you get your subnet mask you can easily get your block size so this will get from two you have to minus from 256 in the value which is varying in your subnet mask okay so here 192 so value is what block size value is 64 clear hello yeah so now fourth rule is your Now today this 
pen is not working properly. Calculate network IDs, host ranges, okay, host ID range, and broadcast IP. Because for each and every network, there will be broadcast IP, right? Yes or no? Okay, so we have to calculate that. Okay, so what are those like in fourth rule? What we'll mention here? Here we'll calculate our subnetworks. Okay, below subnetworks, and here will be our valid host range. Okay, and here we'll calculate our broadcast IP. Clear. So now, very first, that IP is what? This is this is your IP address, right? This is your network, right? One ninety two one sixty eight dot zero dot zero, right? So your first will be that only one ninety two because it is starting from this one only, right? One ninety two one sixty eight zero dot zero. Okay. Now to calculate your sub network IDs, I told you about block size, right? Block size is used to calculate the network IDs for the each sub network, right? Okay, so block size is what? Sixty-four. Now we have to add this value sixty-four. But where to add? In this one, in this one, in this one, or in this one? Where to add? Okay. So that too, it will define your subnet mask. Okay. You have to check in your subnet mask. So where which octet is your varying octet? last one right last one the values are varying right okay so we have to add the 64 where in which octet here here last octet okay clear again add again add This will be your one ninety two, and again if I add here, right? So it will be your two fifty six. That is your not possible, right? And even if if it is not two fifty six, that means that is your one ninety two one sixty eight dot one dot zero. Okay, but that is also different, right? One dot, and here we are using what zero 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 zero, right? Yes or no? Your existing uh, your existing network was. One ninety two one sixty eight zero right, correct, okay. But here it is coming as what? It is coming as one dot zero right. So that is your invalid, okay. So how many sub networks we got? Four sub networks we got right, and that one only we calculated right here in first rule. How many sub network? Two raised power n, two raised power two, four sub network. Clear. This is also cross verification is done, right? Okay. Now valid host range. So valid host we already done, right? In each and every second rule, in each and every like sub network, how many host we can connect? Sixty two. Okay. So either you can do one thing, just uh, add on from here you can add on sixty two host. Otherwise there are two methods. Okay. First one is what? Simply add on, okay. Like I'll start from zero to one. Next IP is what? One ninety two, one sixty eight dot zero dot one, right? Till one ninety two, one sixty eight dot zero dot sixty two, right? One two two sixty two because I I have to connect here sixty two IPs, right? Okay, and zero dot sixty three will be your broadcast, right? The because this is your now last IP for this network, okay? Clear? Yeah. Similar for this one, if you do so, very next IP is what valid host. First, first valid host for this network is zero dot sixty five. Okay, till what zero dot one twenty six. So total sixty two came. Okay, and now zero dot one twenty seven will be your broadcast IP. So this is the one of the way. Simply you can add 
62 host here and very next will be your broadcast IP. This is the one of the way. Okay. Clear? The other way is, the other way is, I will tell you about uh, in next two, for I will do it for next two, okay? These two ranges, okay? So, that is very easy, okay? See, it's very simple. Very next IP you have to mention here. How you are mentioning uh, here it is 00, zero so you are mentioning here zero 01 right very next IP right 0.64 that is your 0.65 right so similar here next is what 9 right and now from here because this is your network ID and if you minus 1 if we sub subtract one value here that means that is your broadcast IP for this one right okay so that will be your 0 0.191 that is your broadcast IP for this one right see similar see yeah, if you see minus one value here 128 that is your 127 right that is your broadcast for this one so for simple simply for like similar for this one uh, for this first network if you minus one value from here 63 63 is what broadcast for this one right yes or no so similar I just subtracted one value here so that is your 191 that is your broadcast for the above one okay and just reduce one value here okay so that is your 0 to 190 right see we are subtracting one value subtracting one value right yes or no so it's very easy to calculate this valid host range okay similar for this one also i can calculate see next type is what 0 0.193 right Okay, so here it was like till 256, right? Yes or no? So one value minus is what? 255, that is the broadcast until 0 0.254, that is your valid host, right? Tell me like if there is any difficulty uh, to learn the subnetting and to calculate the subnet mask and all these things and all. Is there any special thing is there? We did only mathematics only, right? Subtraction, addition, multiplication only, right? Yes or no? It's very easy, right? Okay, I'm going to give you some examples, okay? So that like you can do these examples from yourself, okay? Clear? Yeah. So just you can take this screenshot, okay? Uh, let me note down first. 192 168.1.0 slash 25 192.168.10.0 slash 28 192.168.50.0 slash 27 192.168. 100.0 slash 29 and uh, last one is 192 0.0 slash 30 okay so you note down this five okay 